All right, so just got back from Metal Supermarket, have the steel so we can start building the weldments to lift the DeLorean. So the exoskeleton is pretty much done and ready for the expo. So I just want to go over a quick overview of the system and how it works. So you notice on the back there are two power switches. There's the 12 volt power switch and the 24 volt, volt power switch. 12 volt turns on the fans and powers the solenoid valves. The 24 volt switch powers the compressor. Once the compressor reaches the maximum pressure of 200 psi in the tank, another solenoid valve will actually shut off the compressor and it'll be silent again. So we have a pressure regulator on the left right here, and this is because the leg cylinders aren't actually rated for full 200 psi. We have to limit the pressure to 150 psi. We have lots of extra ports for additional accessories and more new max in the future. And over here we have our pressure gauge, and this brass valve here is actually a pressure relief valve. So basically, if the pressure in the tank exceeds, I believe, 220 psi, there's a spring in here that releases, and all the air will be evacuated from the cylinder. All right, now on the front, we have our tactical vest. We have an arc reactor, just for show. And the main control right now is just by two switches on either glove. So if we turn on the 12 volt power, you can hear the solenoid valve go. So this is the release valve. So this will allow me to release the load of the car and lower down. The other glove is the one that fills the cylinders allowing me to pick up the car. Alright, it's time for a little bit of knee surgery. The problem is that the knees don't lock and so they can buckle backwards. But by welding this piece on here, they can lock. Time to do a dry test. I'm going to lift my car. It's a bit lighter than a DeLorean, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, so our weldman is bending a bit more than we expected. It's not quite the uh, deflection we we're expecting, we did run an FEA analysis on the computer, so we may have to bulk this up a bit before we pick up the DeLorean. But we're going to the expo uh, in two days, and some of the metal places aren't open on the weekend, so we're going to have to figure something out, because as you can see, it's not lifting the car up that much because the steel is bending so much. On the plus side, it does mean the XO is working as planned. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring it back down. So we tried to fix that by adding a second beam of 2x2, two two, and that still wasn't enough. When we tried picking up the truck, the cylinders went up, but we actually ended up bending the entire beam, which is kind of concerning. 
Luckily, our neighbor has some more steel, some steel bar that just happens to fit inside the two-inch tube. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one of these on each side, use a sledgehammer to smash it in, and then hopefully it'll be strong enough then to pick up the DeLorean. In addition to adding those steel beams inside, we're also going to add another steel weldment right here in the middle to really help beef up the entire structure. And hopefully that'll take care of our bending problem. Yeah. Alright, bring it back down. 